to grab your checklist and just quickly run through the next batch of tests. Uh, RPM said 1200, yeah. which it is, oil pressure. Look at that rising. That's yeah, the, the pressure's that okay. That'll rise yeah. in a bit. Starting to warn up right there. How many That's to be charging, yeah. just a bit. Suction in the green. Lovely. Magneto's check for dead cut. Well, it's not a dead cut check, is it? Just che check it left and right position. Left. Right. Back to bow. And let's take. Let's move the aircraft forward. Everybody stages. wants me. Instruments will turn on them, aren't we? All in good time. So, twist the radio on. Turn it. Turn that one to SBY. Turn that one to on. You'll feel it click. Release the brakes. Golf Alpha Romeo Oscar Alpha. Release the brakes and let's taxi it up to the white line. Golf Alpha Romeo Oscar Alpha. Hit the information they found. Taxi fuel bank. See the white line? We stop there. Bring it to a halt. Ah, it's up there. Ready to have a chat with him? Yeah, I am, yeah. Take the green information. Golf Juliet in the Mike Hotel. Good morning, this is Golf Alpha November Sierra. Fuel bay, radio check. Wait for the conversation. Golf Alpha November Sierra Zulu, hate the good information. Runway News 1-6. There's no reported circuit traffic. QFE 1003. 1003, 16 left hand and uh, request this joint downwind for uh, 16 Golf Sierra Zulu. Golf Sierra Zulu, report downwind. Golf Sierra Zulu, we've got 12 miles to run. Report downwind. Happy green information. Golf Juliet, India Mike Hotel. Radio check and taxi information. Golf Juliet India Mike Hotel, here's your good information. Taxi holding point runway 16 via runway 04 and QNH 1014. Hold runway 16 via 04 QNH 1014. Always finish with your call sign. Don't worry now. Okay. Alright. Okay. Out we go. You can see zero four and one six are that way, so that's the, the way we need to go. Well done. So how's your week been? All right. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Just one hand on the throttle, just in case you need it. That's it. Been busy. Uh, quite quite yeah, actually, but uh, slow it down a little bit. Throttle back. Throttle back. That's it. Just let it roll. We're off a camper van in tomorrow. Just pull the control back, control column back. Yeah. If you've mentioned golf, golf, Romeo, Oscar, cross, 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 Got back at Hilton Green. Can I now 1013? We'll see how far we get. We're going to try and get to St David's, but we'll see. 1013, Golf Mike Hotel. All stations, Hilton Green broadcast, pressure change. QNH now 1013. QFE remains 1003. Hilton Green out. That's it. I um, used to have a caravan up in North Wales in Harley. Golf Mike Hotel, you're going to pass to the. Uh, West now and um, the valley. problem is, once I got divorced, I could not afford to keep it. Coffee you know, you know um, which was a shame. I would have loved to have been able to keep it just as a, a little retreat for me. <laughs> but um, I had to sell it. So the wing socks like that, so we need to turn to the left. Well, what we need to do is just carry on right to the top of the brow of the hill. Yep. You can see the two red boards each side, yep. which indicate where the runway starts. And I would literally just aim it that way. Aim it that way, yeah. Into the wind. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, we, uh, I'd have loved to have kept it, but um, unfortunately couldn't. 
I mean, looking back, there was one option I could have asked for, and that was for my mum and dad to buy it. Yeah. And then buy it back up later. Absolutely. Yeah. But, um, I didn't. The hindsight's a great teacher, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You know. So you see, now you've gone past all these weeds, just yeah. pull it up to the white line. Slow it down a little bit, ride the brakes, nice and gently with the brakes. And just angle it just towards that group of houses over there, and the number's 1 6, that'll be brilliant. Just hold it there. That's nice. Grab your checklist and let's do the power checks. Next block down, Parenters. power checks. Power checks, yeah. yeah. Aircraft positioned into wind, parking brake on on my towers, oil temps. That one's got to come up. It'll videos. come up slowly. Magneto's checked that they're on both, which they are. Yep. RPM set to 1700. Yep. Feet on the brakes. Carbon heat. See if I get a drop. There's a drop. Yep. Set cold. Magneto's checked left and right. To both. Suction between three and five. Animated charging just a bit. Yep. Oil temps, that's within. It's coming up limits. slowly, isn't it? RPM set to idle. That's it, back up to 12. Yep. Trimmer, take off, throttle nut, yeah. finger tight, mixture rich, yep. magnetos on both, and master switch on both. Yep. Pito heater, don't need it. Uh, Pito heater is all about the temperature, our outside air temperature is probably about 16. Yeah. You know, we are in a danger range for carburetor icing, but there's very little moisture in the air at the moment. Yeah. Yep. Primer in and locked. Fuel, that's fine because we just filled it up. Flaps as required, which is nothing. Instrument, check me DI. Just below six. I'll just have a look, little look at that again. Both here as they'll establish that wind between one. six and east. Yeah. Yeah. Report, final. Between Both six and east. Will come. So just above six. Yeah. Catches out a lot of people in the early days. Yeah. Did we check the uh, Q and H? We did, didn't we? Double check it. it should be one zero one three. One zero. Because they've changed it. One three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Atches, harnesses, carburetor set to cold. Control full and free movement. Lovely. And transponder set to. Oh, that's it. That. Uh, and while you do that, just switch your nav lights on and your landing lights. Nav, nav and landing lights. lights. Two this side, yeah. that's it, both of them. Lovely. Put that away. Roll us up to the um, takeoff point. Just a little bit of power just to get it moving for you if you need it. And we're looking light downwind, base leg, find an approach. I can't see anything, can you? Just bring the aircraft to a gentle stop. So, opening green information, golf marker hotel ready for departure. Don't say opening green this time yeah. because you've already said it. Just say golf mic hotel holding 16, ready for departure. Golf mic hotel holding 16, ready for departure. Golf mic hotel, runway 16, surface wind 0, 070 degrees 9 knots, take off your discretion. Golf mic hotel, taking off. Lovely. That's it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Weary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must be the police coming after us. So just release the brakes, let it roll. Gate lined up. Come on, Fox Cracker, landing traffic. You ready? Report landing up. Yeah. Full power. Landing up. Off you go.
be the right rudder. Remember, it's all on the rudders. Full power all the way in. Airspeed's increasing. Temperature pressure gauges are looking good. Gently pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Get airborne. Request join. Drop to the Sierra. Hello, somebody. Nice, Jet Lake. Take off your discretion. Wind zero six zero degrees one two. Taking off one six zero five five four. Feedback. So we've done climbing and descending, and what we're doing is a climb away from the ground. Got so Charlie, Mike, Juliet, Sierra, get the aircraft nice and settled, one six, QFE one zero zero and we're looking for 70 knots in the climb, and I'll give one you further three, instructions three, in a minute. Got the zero final, some visual with the rolling trap. Got Sierra Zulu, runway one six, wind zero six zero degrees one two knots, land your discretion. Got Sierra Zulu, continue to land one six. Keep going. Doing a good job. Have you tripped it? Yeah. 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 So after take Tango off, check flaps are up. Landed nice off. Engine and P's within limits. QFE1003, taxi to 16004, got Altimeter is where we set it. Good look round, we'll make a right turn out. Bring us round to a heading of 240. And off Mike Hotel, we're making a right turn out, out to the southwest. Go off Mike Hotel again. And wings level about there. Green, go to Sierra, we are going to take 10 grass land. Sorry, you're right. Sierra, yeah. 70 knots, 20 bombs. Yeah, go to Sierra, we are going yeah. for 10 <laughs> grass land. 70 knots, still climbing, nothing else to affect. Let's continue to climb, we'll climb up to 3,000 feet, that'll give you a chance to do some climbing. So what I want you to do is just maintain 70 knots in the climb. Yeah, Zulu across at Delta. Heading's fine, I'm happy with that. There you go, don't worry about that. It's just wind and direction of the wind causing a storm warner to go off. little turbulence there, right? Eh? Yeah, still climbing now. Yep. Still on the right heading about. Don't worry too much about the heading for the time being. You're roughly where I want to be, so... That's good. Little hazy, isn't it, today? Yeah, just a bit. The higher up we go... It's just calm down a bit, shouldn't it? Yeah, and... Um, it should be a fraction clearer as well. That's it. So during a climb, you've got to maintain a... A look out the window for other aircraft that you don't climb into any. Check your temperature pressure gauges, they're nicely up there now where you expect them to be in the green. Yep. Altimeter. Airspeed indicator. Try and get used to flying it by the picture of the nose, where the nose is on the horizon rather than the airspeed indicator. Compass is still dipping into. Oh no. Um, they're waiting for that to, uh, parts for that to come in. There's so many um, parts these days which you can't get hold of like that, which we were able to before COVID.
This is the bumpiest I've had it, taking off. Can it say it's two balls, uh, It happens. Cover Juliet, Sierra Roger, report to uh, finals, uh, short finals for 1 0 grass. Got two Sierra Roger. Oh, he is 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet. Level off. You do it great, Julian. Keep going at it. Two, four. You see, this is what this information. This is Golf Alpha Romeo. Off flying this aircraft. This is what will make you a better pilot because it's so twitchy. <laughs> yeah. And trust me, Golf Alpha Romeo, Oscar Alpha. Thank you for your information. Three to one, two, Taxi initially, please to Alpha Three. Expect uh, runway one six via zero four. QNH1013. So just bring the power back just a little bit more. 2300. Runway 16. QNH1013. Try and look out the window. Alpha Romeo. Alpha. 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 Uh, Golf Mike Hotel, we're now uh, six miles to the west. Um, we're going to go non radio for about uh, 40 minutes to call you on rejoin. Golf Mike Hotel, Roger. Turning the radio down so they don't disturb us, alright. Yeah, that's the clay hill in. Yeah, down. there's a titstone clay, brown clay. All the way around on my side, you've got the top of the reek in. Alright. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you briefly a turn, all right? Yeah. So when you're ready and you, you, you're happy, let me know. You're not going to get it perfect today because of the turbulence. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have control. You have control. So as we mentioned on the ball board, back balance and back pressure. And you'll see how subtle it is. But what I'm aiming to do is a 30 degree back turn up here. So I'm looking at where the horizon is. Yeah, I think you just need a fraction more there. Good look round. I'm going to do a left turn round behind you, over your left shoulder, down behind us. Very difficult to see on the Merc. And I'm going to go back. Balance with the rudder. Yeah. And a little bit of back pressure. Very subtle, all right? Very subtle. Round we come. 30, just maybe slightly over 30 degrees. And I'm looking at the nose, cutting the horizon. And I'm going to let it come down. If the nose, for instance, goes down into the turn like this, you can pull it back, but you can feel the G-force. Yeah. If it goes down, better just to come back of the bank angle, raise the nose, and then increase the bank angle again. All right. Have a go. Just hold it. Just hold it there. There's a little bit of back pressure. A little bit of left rudder. What's a small amount? All right. I'm going to join you, follow me through. We go into the turn, if, when we come out, if I go bank, balance and don't do anything, there goes the nose, yeah, we go. so we've got to gently pitch forward pitch when we roll the wings level, all right. Yeah. We haven't increased the power, we've left the power where it is, so the aircraft should be happy to fly straight and level if we relax our hands, yeah. all right. Right then, Julian, I'm not going to touch it again now, but what I am going to ask you to do is do a, an orbit for me, have a go. Have a good look round. Back. Balance. Bit of back pressure. And look at the horizon. Look where the nose is cutting the horizon from your perspective. Keep the bank angle in there. Feed it in a little bit steeper. A little bit steeper. Yeah, about there. Yeah. Look at the wing strut. The wing yeah. struck's looking virtually level with the ground, isn't it? So the nose is starting to go down, so just gentle back pressure. That's it. That's it, keep going. Keep going. Back onto two four. I'll tell you when to roll wing level, don't worry about the heading so much. Keep going. And wings level for me about there. There you go. 
All right? Yeah. So we did lose a little bit of height. Yeah. Don't worry about it now. Let's try it again. Good look round. There you go. Keep the rate of back, rate of turn going. That's it. If you glance at the wing strut, the wing strut tells you that it's, it's virtually level, which is close to a beam 30 degree back turn. Keep it going, keep it going. That's looking good. And our wings level about there for me. I think you get the idea. Yeah, yeah just lost, lost a bit of height. Don't worry. Don't worry. What I want you to do is try a right turn. Try it in the opposite direction. So just think it through, back. Balance. Bit of back pressure. Look where the nose is cutting the horizon. Slightly different place this time. Look at my wing strut, you'll see that it's pointing level with the floor, which is good. Check your artificial horizon, it probably goes slightly steeper now. Slightly more back angle, just a little bit. There's your 30 degree turn, and that's what the um, examiner's looking for as a basic turn, all right? Yeah. And roll wings level about there. Yeah. So don't worry about the height at the moment, we'll get you to climb in a little bit. Have another good look out and do me another right turn. Back, balance, bit of back pressure. Look at the horizon, look how the nose is cutting the horizon. You're gently coming off the bank angle. Good. Oh, wings level about there for me. We just come off about 400 feet over the period of all of that, so yeah. what I want you to do, push carburetor heat in, full power, let's climb us back to 3000. Power attitude trim. Correct. Power attitude trim. Looking for 70 knots in the climb. Yes, please. Yeah, we'll just stay at three. So I think you get the idea about the turns, back balance and back pressure, yeah? Yeah. Let's do a series of turns on given headings, all right? Okay, yeah. So... If you look at the, the directional indicator down here, you notice I've dropped the last number. So you've only got the two first main numbers. So yeah. 240 is 240 degrees west. Yep. Yeah. 24, 240 degrees west. What I'd like you to do is turn me on to heading of 3, 3. That's 330 degrees. Okay. So don't continually look. Let's see what you do. Yeah. Brilliant. Good. So when given a heading, you have to anticipate when to turn. All right. 
went to roll wings level. But if I was to say turn me back on to 240, look where it is in relation. 240 is here, it's right over the wing. Yeah. What I would suggest you do is look before you turn, which you're going to do anyway, but look in the direction you're going to turn yeah. and just see if there's a there's a prominent feature you can turn towards so you don't have to bring your head in the cockpit. Okay, yeah. Does that yeah. sort of make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to anticipate when to roll the wings level. And we'd suggest about 10 degrees before you hit the target. All right. What I'd like you to do is a left turn onto 240. Okay, no. So we're losing a little bit of height again. Yeah. Don't worry about that at the moment. So whenever they say, do me a turn onto this number or a turn onto that number, the protocol is simple. You turn the quickest direction to that heading. Yeah. Unless otherwise specified. Right, okay. So if I was to say to you, I want you to do me a right turn onto 180. Yeah, I've specified a direction for okay. you to turn. Yeah. I don't want you to do that. All right, but I'm just saying that by way of example. Yeah. Now, if I say to you, you're on 240, which you are. If I now say to you, turn round and head 060, which is right behind you. Yeah. You have a choice. You can do it left or right turn. Okay. No? So, at your discretion, left or right turn, turn me onto a heading of 060, which is the opposite direction. Bank, balance, back pressure, bring us round. Oh, it's dead, mate. That's looking good. Say again. I'm just going through to my head, that's all. So we just gently climb in. Yeah, that'll do for the time being, get me back up to three. In fact, why don't you continue to climb and take us up to a three and a half thousand feet? Okay. How about what I'm trying to do, Julian, is give you a bit of best, best of both worlds, a bit of practicing climbing, practicing descending shortly, while practicing turning as well. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. When you're comfortable and you're set and you think you're happy, just let me know. Yeah, I'm happy at that. Okay, Doug. What I'd like you to do is a turn onto a heading of 150. 150. So say it in your mind, if you don't say it out loud, back, balance and back pressure. Got 
Just out of interest, do you know where you are? Yeah, I've got the titties down in front of me. Yeah. Ludlow's over there. Tanner Ludlow. As we say, it's no clue. Right yeah. in front of me, yeah. All right, what I want you to do is turn, turn me onto a heading of 30 degrees, 0, 3, 0. So when you go, uh, you will eventually go and do your flight test, and when you do, um, you'll look back on days like this and say, think how far you've come. <laughs> but when you do your flight test, um, between each manoeuvre, we've got to keep our head in, our height, yeah. yeah. Is it going to expect us to do that? So, you back up to green arm. Yeah, use power, full power, climb us back up. It, keep working it. Um, notice the nose is slightly high. No. Are you meaning to climb? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the green off. Now remember when we talked about levelling off at the top of the climb, you've got to give the aircraft time to speed up before you throttle back. Yep. Okay, yeah. So immediately you level off, look what happens, the aircraft begins to sink again because you haven't quite nailed the speed. Yeah. So use the power to get you up that last 100 feet, go on. That's it. Now when you level off, leave the power in there for a little bit, let the aircraft accelerate. Now what I'd like you to do when you're happy, it's turned me on to heading of uh, 120, 120 degrees. 120. <laughs> Ah, so keep working with the aeroplane, keep feeling what she's doing. Temperatures, okay. Struggling with the horizon today as well, aren't we? Oh, absolutely, but this is typical England in spring. Yeah. Typical England. I like you, I can't I don't know where it is, but I get a sense of where the nose is. Yeah. You do good. Keep going. Try to 
him in a bit. And once again, what I'd like you to do is a turn onto a heading of 0, 3, 0, 30 degrees. Zero, three, zero, 30 degrees. Feeling comfortable? Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. Yeah, okay? Just okay? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You're doing good. Yep. Any views about where you might be? No, I'm lost now. I've lost that to stand. Is that the Reekin? It is the Reekin. Right up. So you come round for the Reekin. Yeah. You've got two industrial estates. Those are in the bottom end of Telford, yeah. as, as you look at it. Reekin. Built up area just here. What do you think Alan, that might be? Reekin, Telford. No. Turn me on to a heading of zero nine zero east ninety degrees. Zero nine zero. What do you think that built up area there might be? Where do you think? Not Schiffnell, is it? No. 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 There's something more obvious than that. It's Bridge North. Oh, that's Bridge North. Yeah, that's Bridge North. You can see there's a ridge at the back, just slightly beyond Bondi, where, where the industrial unit is, where the trees are, the tree line, just, yeah, tree just line. slightly beyond it. Yeah, yeah that's Bridge North. Is that a plane there in front of us? At one o'clock. Little dot. Yeah. Probably not at the moment, but keep an eye on it. OK, what I'd like you to do is a turn on to 180 for me. 180. Plane up That's there. That's a plane up there, yeah. Wings level. Wings level. Yep. Have a good look round, and what I want you to do is turn me back on heading a zero nine zero. He's gone behind us, isn't he? Yeah, he's gone behind us somewhere. That's it. Okay, it's going in that direction. I've lost some height, you know. Yep, climb this back up now. You're doing well. Keep going. 
That's it. Pretty good. Just bring us one to zero nine zero again. So bank balance and back pressure works a treat, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have long before, you know, when I saw that plane and then he was on us. Yeah. You don't, you don't get a lot of time, do you? Well. A good look at out, turn us 180. If you think we're flying towards each other, we've got a closing speed close up to 200 miles an hour, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Exit yeah, to Stanley, Brown Clay. Bring us back onto a heading of 120, 12. Now, for the point of view of the examiner, when it comes to turning, the most important thing is you look out. Yeah, so in some respects, if you go back to when you learn to drive, you might have been told to accentuate your lookout when you're turning. Yeah, yeah. Even if you, yeah. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the examiner. We have to play a game with the examiner. So constantly look out. See the Merck building slightly to the yeah. south now? Yeah. What I'd like you to do is bring me back round onto heading of zero three zero. That there is just a light off bouncing off your window because of the angle of the sun versus that um, zero three zero. Zero three zero. Have a good look around. That's it. Yeah, that's so what I'm sort of doing is positioning so we can just come back to the airfield. Yep. What were you going to say? Any spotted anything? Breaking over there. Lovely, yeah. So I've got a village down here. Any familiar with these villages, are you? Not you will no. become familiar. This is um, High Highley. The village of Highley. It's on the western bank of the River Severn. You can just see the corner of the River Severn. Over the other side, you've got Shatterford, which is on the eastern bank. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a head in. Come back to a heading of 060. Zero Right on the nose, just below the horizon, you can see that patch of um, white roof buildings, can't you? That's the Pendernet Trading Estate between Kings Winford and Dudley. Dudley. Is your patch Wolverhampton, is it? No, of Cannock into Cannock. Ah, oh, right, yeah, sorry, you did say before Cannock. Just lost the height again, so can I go? Don't worry too much about it now. What I'd like you to do is turn on to heading of one. Two, zero. See the course of the River Seven just making its way down, and it goes from Highley down to Beaudley, Beaudley. Starport, yep. Yeah. And behind us, if you look up behind us, you've still got Bridge North and the Reekin just right behind the aeroplane. Yeah. 
Have a good look round and turn us on to Eddingham North, zero. The aircraft set on. Just down there, low in your 11 o'clock position, you've got um, the reservoir, Chell Marsh. If you look a little bit further out in the line, you've got Bridge North. Look further out in the straight line, you've got um, the Reekin. I'm going to turn the radio up. What I'd like you to do is turn me on and go up to 270, have a good look round. So that's your standard radio there, Julian. Yeah. Happy? This is called an ADF, you can see the word ADF mark there. Automatic Direction Finder. And you can see it's got a number in it, 356. 356 yeah. is the frequency for that machine on 8 degree. And that needle points to the airfield. Right? Yeah. That's a transponder, and at the moment we're kicking out a code of 7000, which is called the General Conspicuity Code. This here is DME, and it tells us our distance to the station that's dialed in. And just gusting 2-2 knots as you turn on. OK, bring me round onto a heading of 060. 60 degrees. Hey, Big Green Information, Golf Juliet in your mic hotel. One to the west of uh, Chelmarsh Reservoir at 3,500 feet inbound. Golf Juliet in your mic hotel. Hey, Big Green Information, Romain News 16, QFE 1003. One way, one six left and 1003, Golf Mic Hotel. Golf Victor India final, uh, 16. Golf Victor India, runway 16, surface wind 0, 80 degrees, 16 knot, recent gust of 2, 3 knot, land your discretion. Golf Victor India, land it down discretion. Well, that wind is strengthening. Is a bit, yeah. Did you hear what he said? No, I missed that, what did he say? You're busy? Yeah. You're being busy? Yeah. All right. What I'd like you to do is, in the subscale, is dial in the number zero zero, sorry, one zero zero three. One zero zero three. One thousand and three in the subscale. Instant wind one zero zero degrees one five knots. Okay. Now what I want you to do is go carburet heat on, and we'll do a descent down to two thousand feet. So carburet heat back to about seventeen hundred RPM. Zero, 80 degrees, one, three knots out. There's the airfield over there by those rapeseed fields. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. See okay. the building? So turn us in. Golf Academy Mile, right turn at the west, request QNH. QNH 1013. QNH 1013, Golf Academy Mile. Golf, Golf, yes, please. Mike Alpha, Alpha, and level off at 2000. Golf Mike Alpha, runway occupied, report lining up. Lining up, Golf. And to the far end, vacate right and park on the apron near the tower, please. And right, tower, Golf Victor India. You alright? Yeah, it's fine, that is. Loosening the fingers a little bit.
That's it, so Razor Nose a little bit, Cobberty going in. Razor Nose, we're still descending. Have a look at the um, vertical airspeed indicator. Turn us back towards the centre of the airfield for me. And don't descend any more just yet. Jobs Mike Alpha, runway 16, surface wind 0, 80 degrees 1, 2, gusting 2, 3 knots, take off your discretion. Take off runway 16, Golf Mike Alpha. Big Trendy, thanks, taxi when ready, park your side of the tower. Big Trendy, roger. Right. Underneath, but I can't see it at the minute. Well, that's part part of learning to be a pilot. <laughs> we must fly the aircraft straight and level. Yeah, we're not going to descend just yet. What we're waiting for is wait waiting for this instrument here to drop to two, preferably 1.9. That's the distance we've got to run to the airfield. Okay. Yeah. When it drops to <laughs> two, <laughs> when it drops to two, that means we're now within <laughs> their <laughs> air traffic <laughs> zone. So, Cobbett <laughs> Eton. <laughs> Power back to around about 1700, gently lower than that. Yes. And got my hotels, dead side descending. Take us to that end of the runway. Got my hotel, one in the circuit, report downwind. 3 4, yeah. One in, we'll go, got my hotel. Aim to the 3 4 numbers, that's it. Now, not below 1300 feet on this side yep. of the runway due to helicopter traffic. We fly a left-hand pattern, as you're probably aware, so left-hand is on the far side. And I want to go right across the arrows. Yep. At 1,000. 300. 1,300 feet. Helicopters typically do their circuit at 800 feet, so if we're at 1,300, we're 500 feet above them. Yep. So level off, level off. Need to level off 1300 feet, Cobra T. Power up to 20, I got 23. Mike Don't right climb. Job Mike Alpha, nothing there to hook. Just stay Stop at your height. Up. Yeah. I know you've gone below, but they don't. And there's no helicopter traffic. Alright, so there's nothing to worry about. Okay. So just now, turn the slam towards one board, which is just here. Job Fox Greco, runway 16, wind 0, 80 degrees, 1, 2, gusting 2, 3 knots, land your discretion. Let me go. Please don't worry too much about these little things, Julian. Okay. You've got plenty of time to get used to them. Yep. I'm just crossing the runway now. Brilliant. I know you're a conscientious sort of guy, and these yeah, things when zero, seven, zero degrees, um, one, one, not. sit in the back of your mind. Um, I'm a conscientious sort of guy as well, they do sit in the back of my mind, but you're going to make it little mistakes at the moment. My job is just to, you know, get you through those. Yeah. Just aim towards one board, and we're here. Just check your RPM, listen to the noise. 2300 is ideal. That's it. I'm at 1,000 now. Now have a little look round and let's go down in this direction here. Left, we want about, I don't know, about 350 today because of this wind. Look out the window, try not to spend too much time. That's it, a bit further round. There's RAF Cosford, you can see the big building in the distance. Lower the nose so we don't climb. Right, that's where's, it. Where's Cosford? Right on the nose. Can you see it just below the horizon? Yeah. And got my hotels downwind uh, one six to land. Got my hotel report final. Report final. Got my hotel. Yeah. So this is where you do your bump pitch checks into Yeah, it breaks off. One goes right, so down. Mixture. mixture rich. Fuel on is sufficient. Instruments all good. Carburetor is hot. Pull the car beat out, let's flush the engine. That's it, keep going towards Cosford. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hatches and is all secure. Yeah. 
carburetor heat set to cold once you've done that. In anticipation of us doing a landing, let's get the landing light on. The two by side, that's it. Down here is a wide building, left turn. Tag us around that, I can see the built little built up area here. It's just here, you'll see it just here. Keep turning, keep turning. And what you've got to look for out the window is the r top of the Clee Hills. Lower the nose, you're pulling too much. Yeah. Keep packs around, that's it. You didn't do that when we were out there, you were squeezing forward before. So, car beat on. Car beat on. Power back to 15. Just hold the nose up, we want to slow the aircraft down. Two stage of flap. One, two, that's lovely. Lower the nose and left turn. Left turn. Now we are high because you've been holding the nose up when that turn, so I'm going to dump the power. Just let the nose, let it sit there, that's it, just not too deep. Relax your hands. Yeah, relax your hands. Yeah. Let's trim that. There you go. Yeah. Golf Mike Hotel, finals 1 6 to land. Golf Mike Hotel, runway 1 6, surface wind 1 1, 0 degrees 1 5 knots, land your discretion. Golf Mike Hotel. Now you can see the wind socks pointing that way, yeah. so we've got to point the nose over there, otherwise we're going to drift off that way. That's looking good, just keep it going down. Keep the gap between the white of the nose and the runway numbers as constant as you possibly can. Yeah. I'm going to join you on the controls in a minute. Keep it going down, this is just a descent. Yep. So I'm going to add a little bit of power now, so the nose is going to want to come up a bit. That's it. Carburetor. 300 feet, you got it, carburetor heat goes in. I'm going to join with you because this is not a nice crosswind today, alright? So relax with me, I'm going to use power to pull us through that wind, yeah? yeah. I have got bags of speed which are going to win. 100 degrees, 1 knots. So my eyes. Julian, I'm looking at the numbers, just solid at the numbers, and I'm trying to gauge the vertical position yep. and keep it as constant as possible. Aiming really to drive the aircraft into the ground, but at the last minute I'm going to stop that. Coming over the threshold, I'm now lining it's the aircraft up. Just bringing the power down, a little bit of aileron into it, and I'm going to try and just float the aircraft. Bravo Uniform, Uniform Lima, here's your information. Runway 16, QFE 1003. There no you reported go. And I'm just going to leave the brakes alone. I'm going to well, turn the controls in that direction because that's traffic. where the wind's coming from. All right, yeah. and that holds that wing down to the ground. And now the wind is trying to cock the nose that way. All right, I don't know if you can feel me yeah. putting the rudder yeah, pedal in. Yeah. yeah. Let's get rid of the flaps. If there's no traffic, okay to join left base for a uh, go. Go to uniform Lima. Report left base. So I'm just gently report feeding in that report rudder. Report as and when I need it. Let's let the aircraft roll. Okie doke, then Julian, you have control. control. Just take us off the end of it. Don't worry about the brakes at the moment, let it roll. See the wind? That was the wind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As you learn to fly and you do more and more, I will say, say things to you like, who's flying this aeroplane? Is it you? Is it the aeroplane? Is it the wind? And you'll go, it's me, Mark. And I'll say, come on then. Bring the aircraft to a stop. Lovely. Grab your checklist. Golf Mike Hotel's active vacated. Golf Mike Hotel, taxi parking. Golf Mike Hotel. Landing car break cold. Well, that was popping out. It's, it's it, the, the cable stretching. We need to get it um, realigned. Yeah. Loose radio nav and electrics off. So that off. That off. All right. Radio Non-essential lights. So the landing light yeah. and the nav lights are off. That's good. Uh, landing lights and the nav lights. Switch the nav light off. No, leave the beacon on. The beacon. That's the old one out. That's the nav light, yeah. 
All right, let's taxi back now. So be proactive with the rudder because the wind will want to weathercock you into wind. All right. Osprey 63, hope you got information. Hello. Osprey 63 for Squirrel, uh, Transport PDG. Uh, lift uh, air test initially Western Grass. Please. Osprey 63, taxi Western Grass. Runway in use 16, next one zero one three. You did all right, yeah. I mean, the, it was a bit murky, so it was, you know, quite hard, but I think I was turning okay. You turned okay, yeah. That's why I did a couple of full ones, just to get you the feel of it. And then a series of left, right, left, right, left, right, short and sharp, so you've, yeah. got to, you've got to do the process and get comfortable with the process. Most important thing in turning is looking out before you turn. Is the wind? Yeah, that's the wind. <laughs> Nothing else. That's the, the wind is catching the tail and trying to push it round. Yeah. Osprey 63, fixed wing traffic joining left base from the northeast, but no circuit traffic. Take up your discretion, cross all runways. We're just holding the hover for a Roger. Here comes the motorbike man. As you just relax the relax the brakes later on. Here he is. Take us in. Ah, see, pick us in. Okay, Joe. I have control, Julian. Yes, so, twenty-eight foot wingspan. So we've got to be careful we don't whack it on the fence. That or the tail behind us. To get to about here and I'm going to put your wheel on the grass. Let that ride the grass and just keep coming. I'm using a bit of brake and full rudder. Aim it towards the aircraft over there and I'm going to centralise uh, that. Uh, ready for uh, short local out to the do you want to do the um, shutdown check for us? Cross all wind, oh, instant wind, zero, 070 zero degrees, one four knots, recent gust of two three knots. Magnetos, check for dead cut. Yep, left. Right, back to both. Radio and everything off. I'll turn everything. Yeah, please. Top one. Oh. Top one. That's it. Then click off. Um, you can't switch that off. Can't switch that one off. Oh. Close throttle. Oh. Yep. Mixture. Lovely. Cut. Have to stop. Key removed. Turn it off. Electrics off.